Hello and welcome. In this video, we will discuss how to use the selection and filtering options that are part of some of the tasks in ANSYS Fluent Meshing Watertight Workflow. The selection and filtering options are very versatile tools. They let us quickly identify and select different entities of the imported geometry as target objects of different tasks. For example, we can choose to apply a particular local sizing only to specific zones or generate boundary layers only on selected boundaries. Let's look at these options in more detail. Here we are in the process of adding a local face sizing to an imported geometry. To select the surfaces where the local size control need to be applied, set select by to either zone or label. A zone is just an individual surface in the geometry. The sizing can be applied to a single or multiple zones. There are two ways to select zones. Either pick from the list shown here. or select the Zone Selection filter from the toolbar and right-click on the surfaces displayed in the graphics window. Labels are the names given to the surfaces and regions during cut creation. They are used to select boundaries or regions and apply local sizing, boundary layer mesh, or set boundary conditions. In our case, while creating the geometry in space claim, we created a few name selections which were recognized by Fluent Meshing upon geometry import. Additionally, it also created labels based on the names of the bodies in the structure tree. You can either pick between a zone or a label by setting select by as needed. However, it is recommended to define name selections at the cut creation stage and use labels during the meshing process to guarantee persistence, even if the geometry is changed. A good practice is to set up name selections on the boundaries based on the boundary condition type that will be used in Fluent during simulations, like inlet, outlet, wall, and so on. For complex geometries, which may contain many zones or labels, you can use the filter with wildcard symbols to easily select the appropriate surfaces. For example, in our case, even though the numbers of labels is small, you can set the filter text to asterisk hyphen wing to filter the list and show only those surfaces that contain hyphen wing at the end of their name. Other wildcard symbols that can be used are a question mark and the square brackets. For more information on how to use this, please refer to the user's guide. You can also select the use wildcard option to filter and simultaneously select all the matching zones and labels. These selection options can also be used in other tasks. In Update Boundaries, you can select the boundaries by using labels or zones and search specific ones by applying filters or using wildcards. The same applies for the Update Regions task. In a similar way, you can filter the regions and the boundaries on which you want to add a boundary layer mesh. Under Add In, you can select specific name regions. And under Grow On, you can choose the boundaries by selected zones or selected labels. This brings to the end of our video.